Hey guys, today I will be taking apart the G Box. It's an Android media player. Let's take it apart to see what it looks like inside, see what all the control board, all the things, let's see what everything looks like. Okay, and I always remember, guys, you guys are the boss, so thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't like the video, you're in charge, okay? Now, let's see. How to get this apart here. First, let's take a look at this. The light's in the way. There we go. It's the G box. Let's take the power cable out. You can see it's got your network link cable here. Reset. Optical out. Power. HDMI. USB, two USB uh, ports, e card reader here. That's about it, guys. All right, now I'm looking at it here. I didn't test it beforehand, but I do not see any screw holds or anything. I um, have to believe that this is held together by clips so I'm going to put my screwdriver in here and attempt to pry it apart yes I was right it is held together by clips I usually don't like these clip ones but this is their design so oh my goodness it's another reason I don't like these things but I will not be defeated oh my goodness Christian wow uh, things gonna beat me all right, I didn't want to do this, but you made me do it. Okay, okay, there we go. You made me do that. I didn't want to do it. Okay, there we go. Pop the top. All right, so here we go, guys. I did it. Now this lights up. I'm gonna show you guys in a second, but this is this whole G lights up when the power is on. And here it's the LEDs, light emitting diodes, right here. Two the LEDs. Okay. Now right. As soon as I look at this, I can see it has multi-layer transistors, teeny little things. Then over here, I can already see an integrated circuit right here. And you've already seen the LEDs. But those are the first three that pop out to me right away. Okay. Now that we're inside now we see some screws so they hid the screws under the wait, they're Phillips head screwdrivers little teeny bang but this screwdriver should do the trick even though they're little teeny screwdrivers it's getting them out of here so I'll stick with this screwdriver for now Okay, on to the next one. That out of here. Yeah, this other one right here. Okay, those are the only ones I see, but you never know. 
it's still in here pretty good so something else is holding it in it's like it has little plastic clips holding it down here these are the the rear I.O. right here <laughs> the panel right got it you guys didn't believe in me but I got it okay now this is where the external storage card reader goes right here this is a heat spreader dissipate the heat this is a transistor there's another one or oh, wait a minute let me flip it around here nope this it guys sorry guys this is um what's wrong with me a capacitor this is a capacitor you can see I don't well, I don't know if you guys can see it but I just saw it there's a 16 volts right here so this is a capacitor and we have more integrated circuits more transistors multi-layer transistors so they're everywhere on this on this main board here they're all over the place here's another capacitor over here Wait, let me get it in the shot there's another capacitor here so so far I see two capacitors whole bunch of transistors integrated circuits multi-layer transistors so they're, they're everywhere and all these other chips I'm not too sure what these chips are down here it's probably for the Android or memory they could be memory but I can't see them because they're so small I think they might be uh, RAM and as I get this is the main chip here but that's pretty much it guys I don't think see anything else different or unique on this this main board you know but that's everything on here right there and I thank you guys for watching the video and I hope it it's helpful and informative to you and remember thumbs up if you like thumbs down if you don't and thank you for watching the video bye bye <laughs>